when you have a small garden area, which we don't, but this year we're going to do some pickles. Uh, but with small garden areas, this works really good putting your cucumbers on a fence. Now these have just been started uh, about a week and a half, two weeks ago. They're just coming up, getting their second leaves. But if you take a little fence and support it, you can grow these vines up the trellis, makes it easier to pick once they start putting on and you get them up there. But also it lets you put more plants in a small space. These are, these are planted about a foot apart and they're definitely going to be fighting for sunshine once they get trained up this trellis uh, we'll be able to use these for pickles here in probably uh, a couple of months they'll be producing real good now we have an early crop over here and it's kind of the same same way it's set up on a trellis now because of all the water these all these plants should be as good as the one on the end, but but like I say, the, the water really, too much water really hurts the growth of your plant. But as you can see, the, these right here, they're already producing, and the type I planted were small pickle size. You could still eat them, but uh, like I say, we're wanting to put up some pickles this year, and so that's, that's what that crop is. Okay, these are our first cucumbers. Of course, not all these come from our first cucumbers, but uh, my wife, she likes the salt and pepper. Now, to me, it's not no more exciting than some of the other cucumbers. I do like cucumbers, but the salt and pepper one is white. And if you look at the vines, now these, these are our earlier cucumbers, are ones we planted in the spring, but the salt and pepper never get a dark green vine they always stay pale uh, these are starting to play out as you can see in the middle of the row uh, and down at the end you got a whole lot of yellowing leaves and stuff don't expect your plants you know with the heat and stress and stuff to keep on going uh, we compensated for that by planting some others we were planting pickles as we said earlier and uh, <coughs> We've, we've just started harvesting from our new bats. The, these are some of these are from here, just a few. Most of these are from our our uh, new plants. This is our second batch of cucumbers. Whenever we uh, we talked in the video earlier, when our early peas or English peas, whichever way you want to call them, when they played out, we took and we run a fence down here and we planted. Uh, cucumbers. Now I planted these in real tight. Uh, I put seed about every uh, two seed about every foot apart. So uh, that's really compact. You don't expect them to to uh, really do too great. I mean because they're fighting for nutrients, but they they will produce as you can see uh, this these here. They've been here about a month and a half. They've started producing here in the last two weeks. Uh, we needed a whole lot because we were doing pickles this year. But this gives you an idea of, of how long you can go because uh, from the time you plant them, a little over a month, a month, a little over, they'll start producing a few, you know, and by the time a month and a half, you'll start getting good production. You can see we've got little pickles. These could be for small pickles already, but we're getting them just a little bit bigger another day on them. There's some more off in here hiding. There's plenty of cucumbers coming on. If you listen close, you can hear the bees, which this is this is real good for uh, the flowers so they can collect pollen and everything too. So that really helps uh, keep them in the garden and they'll be here for your your other plants. <laughs> 